I graduated from the university 17 years ago with BSc and have been actively building my career since then. Uh, how easy is it to get an admission in a New Zealand tertiary institution for a level nine postgraduate course after a long time away from the classroom? I'm planning to start uh, in six months. Contact your team already, but we are not in sync as I keep getting conflicting auto mails from them. My husband is also planning PhD information systems management. Do you think it will be easier for me or to him? Use education pathway to come to New Zealand. He sent you a personal email already. Absolutely, Abiola. I think the best pathway is uh, education because as I keep repeating in all my broadcasts and in all my videos, uh, getting direct residency or getting uh, direct work while you're not in New Zealand is almost impossible. So coming uh, as a couple into New Zealand where one person studies and the other person can work is a very good idea. Uh, whether you need to do a level nine uh, uh, course, which will be a master's, uh, or whether your husband opts for a PhD is a decision that you guys need to take. If you do a level nine course, your husband will get a work visa. If he does a PhD, you will get a work visa. If you guys have kids, uh, the kids will be eligible for uh, domestic education in New Zealand. So all those advantages are there because both of you are choosing very high level options. Level nine is a master's and a PhD is level 10. The other uh, advantages of a PhD is if uh, your husband's uh, thesis or proposal is, uh, proposal is very good, you might end up getting funding. Uh, so that is a possibility. But again, trying to get into a PhD is not very easy. So that is a negative. Uh, so overall, I think you guys are well placed to consider this pathway. So to answer your question in a, in a brief manner, yes, the pathway you're choosing through education is definitely the right pathway. Whether you chose level nine or your husband chooses a PhD level 10 is a decision that you guys need to make. Uh, I would say uh, the best way to decide upon that is to see who has got a better chance of getting employed. So if you have uh, been in a area which is not in the long-term skill shortage list of New Zealand and if your husband is in an area like IT or something which is in the long-term skill shortages of New Zealand I would then suggest that the person who is currently employed in the long-term skill shortages area should come on the work visa and the other person should be the uh, student uh, based on which the uh, other spouse or the spouse is getting the uh, work visa so that would be my recommendation but Coming back to the gist of it, yes, uh, the pathway is co correct. Uh, yes, uh, both level nine and a PhD level 10 are very good. Uh, and the way to decide is, see who has got more chances of employment and who is more aligned with New Zealand skill shortages. That person should come on the work visa and the other person can become the international student.